What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never, and today I'm back with another update on Baby Pepe. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I'd greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. Know what I want. All right, so as usual, I just want to give a quick little update on Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin on the 10-day time frame. And if you guys have watched my content in the past, I've been talking about for a long time that we were basically in this giant cup and handle or a giant bull flag. And as you guys can see, at this point, we have a clear breakout. Now, I will say the candle hasn't actually closed yet, though. So we'll see how this actually closes. But if we do close this strong, then this could be extremely bullish for the future of Bitcoin. You have to understand, this bull flag has a measure move all the way up here to around $118,000. Now, as I say in almost every video, I don't know as though it would actually hit this level. I think there's going to be heavy resistance around 96,000, 98,000, because 100,000 is going to be a major psychological barrier. But nonetheless, the measure move is all the way up there to around 118,000. So anything is possible. And if you look at the RSI and stochastics right now, they both have plenty of juice to keep going. Now, I do want to be clear about that, though. It's not like it's just going to be a straight up moonshot. You are going to have pullbacks on the smaller time frames. For example, the daily. If you look at the daily right now, the RSI and stochastics are both getting very overbought. Don't be shocked if in the next couple days we start to flag out and we come back down and touch the 21 day moving average. And perhaps we could even break the 21 day and we come all the way down to the 200 day. We haven't touched the 200 day in quite a while. I understand that a lot of you guys right now love that the whole market is pumping, but it doesn't always stay that way. There are going to be pullbacks, so don't be caught off guard when one happens. Now, if you look at the meme coin market, you can see everything is starting to follow Bitcoin. Dogecoin is up 31% in the last week. Pepe is up 24% in the last week. Nero is up 57% in the last week, and it actually had broken a $1 billion market cap. But what's actually very nice to see is that Ethereum is also starting to pump. You can see Bitcoin's only up 10% in the last week. Ethereum's up 22%. This is one of the first times in a long time that we've seen Ethereum have strength over Bitcoin. And this could be very good for a lot of meme coins, especially the ones that we are trading on Ethereum. But anyways, now we'll go ahead and take a look at Baby Pepe. So at the current moment, Baby Pepe is sitting at an $11.3 million market cap. And this is a project that I've talked about several times in the last couple of weeks. And I've been telling you guys, one of the biggest reasons I'm bullish on this project is just because it's a great derivative to Pepe. And Pepe happens to be one of my most bullish meme coins this bull run, at least in terms of high caps. See, a lot of people out there think that there's a good chance that Pepe actually passes Shiba Inu this bull run. And right now, Pepe is at a $4.5 billion market cap, while Shiba is at $11.3 billion. And Shiba actually reached an all-time high around $42 billion. So if Pepe were to pass Shiba Inu, imagine what a derivative like Baby Pepe could do. Now, obviously, there's no guarantees that Pepe does pass SHIB, but there are a lot of people out there who think that it could. And oftentimes, when you have that strong of a narrative, it does play out in the meme coin market. It's like in 2021, when everyone was saying that SHIB was going to flip Doge, and there for a very short time period, it did happen. Now, if you do look at the actual Pepe chart, what's interesting is over the last week, Pepe has had a very nice explosion. The last time I talked about baby Pepe, Pepe was under a $4 billion market cap, and now it's $4.45 billion. But if you look at Pepe on the daily time frame, you can see it's still lagging significantly behind. Again, you look at Bitcoin right now, and it's easily at all-time highs. You look at Pepe, and Pepe's not even that close to breaking all-time highs. In fact, Pepe still hasn't gotten back above this previous local high. So some of you guys out there who are worried about baby Pepe just trading sideways, understand that Pepe hasn't truly broken out yet. So when I'm telling you guys that I view baby Pepe as a derivative of Pepe, that means that I'm waiting for a Pepe breakout. And if you look at baby Pepe on the daily time frame, it is performing significantly better than Pepe. You can see right here, it already smashed all-time highs. And it actually ran up to around a $16.6 .6 million market cap. That right there is a great start. And if you look at the Baby Pepe X account, they're growing every single day. They're up to 3,700 followers. And as a lot of you guys know, one of the biggest reasons that I was personally bullish on Baby Pepe is because of this new partnership. And it's with Skolt Studio. So a few of the projects that Skolt Studio works with are Mudang and Moomoo. Mudang is currently over a $200 million market cap and Moomoo is over like a $130 million market cap. So they have experience with huge projects. Now, does that guarantee that Baby Pepe is going to do extremely well? No, it does not. But they at least have an experienced team working with them. And if you look at the baby narrative in general, you have Baby Doge, which recently got listed on Binance and is over a $368 million market cap. Now, obviously, when you look at Dogecoin, you can see it is over $30 billion, so it's much larger than Pepe. However, again, if you believe that Pepe is going to have a huge bull run, then why not bet on Baby Pepe? Baby Pepe is significantly smaller than Baby Doge. But honestly, there's not a whole lot for me to say about this project. If it sounds like something you guys might be interested in, then definitely come over and give them a follow on X. 
And then I always recommend joining the Telegram on these projects. The Telegram is going to help you guys stay engaged with the community. And to be crystal clear about this project, at the end of the day, this is a meme coin. So it comes with extremely high risk. Nothing is guaranteed in crypto. I can't be any clearer about that. I'm just telling you a few of the reasons that I am personally bullish on this project. But if you guys are interested in getting into projects super early, then I recommend coming over and taking a look at my Discord. We have been making huge gains in here. As a lot of you guys know, I recently called Speedy at a $178,000 market cap and it ran up to over $43 million, which is over a 200x. At this point, we have called almost 10 projects that have done over a 100x. So if this is the kind of stuff that sounds interesting to you guys, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. We're building an excellent community. I'd love to see you guys in here. But as always, I want to be crystal clear. Every single one of these projects that I cover come with extremely high risk. Make sure you always do your own research. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Baby Pepe will go this bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.